Family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. It is now day 20 of Vlogmas 2017. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So day 20 of Vlogmas. Wow, we're, we're, we're almost done with the month already. Can you believe it? Christmas is a couple days away. Wow. I mean, wow. This year has gone by so quickly. It's ridiculous. So anywho, the question of the day is, why does he treat his new girlfriend better than he treated me? Well, now, you know, I got some tips for you. And today I have three tips for you on why he's treating his new boo better than he did you. Let's jump in. All right, ladies. So the first reason why he is now treating his new boo better than he had treated you is because she established her standards early on. She was not one of the women that went with the flow. She didn't, she wasn't like the leaf who was blowing with his wind. Yeah, that was dramatic. <laughs> But seriously, though, she knew what she wanted. She put that out there. If he wanted to go along with her program, he was. If he didn't, he wasn't. So she just put it out there and she let it. She basically let the cards fall where they may. And it happened to be your boo. And now she put her stuff out there. And guess what? She is getting what she wants to get. It happens to be from your ex. Maybe... You didn't put your standards out there. And most of the time, I have to say, most of the time, women don't put their standards out there. For some reason, we think as ladies, we think that the man is supposed to be the mind reader and he knows that we wanted to get a relationship. He knows that after we're spending all of this time together, that it's just supposed to go into where he's now calling me his girlfriend. Ladies, don't work like that. Which actually leads me into point number two. He's treating her better than he treated you because he knows her blueprint. He knows what he can do in order to win with her. And I've said this plenty of times, but let me say it here. If a man doesn't feel like he can win with you, he don't know your blueprint. He don't know your blueprint. He don't know what's going to make you happy. He don't, he don't know pretty much why he's even with you. You complain about everything. <laughs> Can't do nothing right. Right? He knows her blueprint. He knows how to make her happy. He knows how to make her laugh. He feels like the man with her. He over there <laughs> pumping his chest with her. Swinging his arms like, oh, y'all know how men do. He doing all this with her. With you, he had no idea on what to do. He was trying to figure it out. He was like a fish out of water. <laughs> I'm making jokes, but seriously, if he don't know your blueprint, if he don't know how to make you win, he ain't there, boo. So the third reason is because you guys were in a relationship, right? And it didn't work out. In his mind, he doesn't want to have another failed relationship. And so unfortunately, she is now benefiting from your struggles with him so basically you trained him and now but you didn't get the benefits because it wasn't you wasn't important or that relationship wasn't important enough for him to get it together and so now you know what i'm tired of having all of these failed relationships under my belt and so again unfortunately the new boo is now benefiting from your struggles yeah that one needed to sink in because sometimes that happens. Sometimes we as women help the men become the men that they are becoming to the new boo. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. And so maybe that's why he's treating her better, or at least it seems like he's treating her better because he is now starting to mature. And unfortunately, you didn't get to reap the benefits of his maturity. And now she is. But it's okay. It's okay. Next time you put your standards out there early on, don't wait, don't be a leaf blowing with his wind. Let him know what your blueprint is so he can know how to win with you. 
right? And then you won't have to go through the third thing. Somebody else reaping the benefits. All right, I have a quick story and then I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I have a coworker that I work with and he was basically telling me how um, he had already been in a marriage before. That's, that one had failed and he was with his current girlfriend. They had broken up for a period of time and um, on, honestly he said that they had gotten off of um, Facebook and all of this stuff because it was causing a lot of havoc in their relationship. And basically, long story short, he decided, well they decided together that they were going to get back together get rid of all of the riffraff so now he started to make her a priority and he made sure that he told her that if we get back together like this is it I am all in I am pulling out all the stops I am going to do everything that I know I needed to do that I wasn't doing before and that I have never done with any other woman so trust me they can get it together it might not happen with you but if he wants to do it with the next woman, unfortunately, that's what it's going to take. But you still have to applaud yourself. Don't don't be ticked off about it. You helped him become the man that he needed to be. You had a little portion in that and maybe even a large portion in that. It's okay. Continue to be who you are. Continue to be the pleasant person that you are. And your true mate will show up. Don't be the bitter woman. Don't turn into the bitter woman. Because it didn't work out with him. And now you see him having this glamorous life. Well, don't believe everything that you see, especially on social media. You know, a lot of times we put the things that we want people to see on social media. We usually don't put the bad stuff. And if we do start to put the bad stuff, you know, you always think about that person that puts all of the bad stuff on social media. Like, dang, you ever going to have a good life? You ever going to have a good day? Like, don't be that person that everybody is talking about. Continue to be the you that you know that you can be. Continue to be that better person. Continue to shine your light. Continue, continue to be that positive person. And your boo will show up. The one that's meant for you. See, that person is gone because he wasn't meant for you. Maybe his destiny was with that girl. And you were his stepping stone, unfortunately. But it's okay. All of us have been in relationships where we felt like, why didn't this one work out? But all of them aren't supposed to work out. As long as you are learning from your mistakes and you don't continuously make them, again, that's when you know that you've learned because you stop making the same mistake over and over and over again. Then you'll be all right, sis. You'll be all right. Don't let this one relationship break you on down. And now you just hold knowing. You still call. You still text. And you throw all the shade out there in the world in order to break up their happy-go-lucky looking relationship. But you don't know because you're on the outside. And you ain't supposed to know. Nor should it be that important for you to know. You got to move on. It's okay. It's okay, because the more time you spend wasting your time and energy on trying to break them up or trying to figure out why this and why that, you're losing out. You're hurting yourself. You're stopping that person from finding you. Your boo will come, but you got to leave the doors open for him to walk through them. All right? If this is your very first time here to I Love Me, 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 I have a playlist for the month of December with all of the questions and all of my answers. So you definitely want to check that out at the end of December. <laughs> At the end of December, it will be 31 videos within this playlist. And so you can go ahead and just binge watch I Love Me, Me, Me. Um, every day with the exception of the first day, I have answered one question. If you are not already following me on social media, you make sure that you go ahead and do that because the questions that I am answering are all questions that I ask on all of my social media. So Twitter, Snapchat, uh, all of them are in the description box below. So go ahead and follow me on the one that you or the top one or two. You know, I'm not saying that you have to follow me on all of them. Of course, of course you can, right? But the ones that you are on, most of the time just go ahead and follow me on those and the next time I ask a group of questions that I'm going to answer you can make sure that you put your question out there now if you have a story to tell me as well as a question send me an email that way I can go ahead and answer that question as well as get the context of 
your story and I can put your story on one of my next upcoming videos. All right. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Make sure that you give me thumbs up and love.